Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what is, in my opinion, the best free video editor you can get. Whether you're just starting out or have some experience already, the editor, which is called DaVinci Resolve, will allow you to do most things that you can think of. This is a great piece of software, especially if you're looking for a video editor to create YouTube videos. I've tried a few free video editors and I've settled with this one because it allows you to experiment with some more advanced techniques that some editors might not allow. You will need to bear in mind though that in order to run DaVinci Resolve you need a modern PC with at least 8GB of RAM and I'll put the full specifications and requirements in the description too. What's best is that it's already quite popular so there's plenty of tutorials online if you want to find out how to do specific things. In this video today I'm going to show you how to install it and some of its basic features and its interface. To get the software you can click on the link in the description to take you to this site. Click the download button in the center and choose a version. It's likely you'll want an option on the left. Choose the latest version if you're unsure which is best for you. Click on your operating system to start and then fill in the details to register. Your download should start automatically but if it doesn't you can click the uh, button on the center of the screen just there. So once the download is complete you can click on it to open it up and run the application. If you're unsure what to choose here you can just choose the two that I've chosen uh, Resolve Panels and Resolve itself or you could just select uh, Resolve from this list then click install, click next agree to the license agreement you can check through it if you like click next and then choose the destination folder this is up to you but the default one should be fine finally click install and it will install the software this might take uh, a while depending on your PC once it's done you can click finish and then open it up from your desktop it will be the one that is called resolve you want to go to new project which is in the bottom right and you can give your project a name. Click create and it will open the editor. So this is what it looks like. You've got all of the things you need. If you're not uh, currently on it you can go to the edit screen here. This is probably the one you're going to spend most of your time on and you can do most of the things from it as well. So we've got a lot of things that we can do and it might look a bit daunting if you've not really used any editing software this advanced before. But at the top here we've got a few of the things we can change. So we've got the media pool which is where we can import media um, and then we would add it to the timeline. We've got effects which I've currently got open. You can toggle them on and off by clicking them here. Uh, edit index and sound library as well. So click on and off and it will uh, add them and remove them. You're probably going to keep something like effects up uh, and media pool as well. And as you can see um, you can change them here, the size if you're searching for effects and a small media pool is probably all you'll need. Up to the right we've got the similar sort of thing at this side, so we've got the mixer which you can change the audio levels on, uh, metadata and the inspector. We won't see anything in these until we've added some uh, content to the timeline. We can actually set up the project by going to file and then project settings. So this will depend on the footage you're recording and that you're going to be adding so we're currently on full HD uh, I would imagine you're going to be on that as well but obviously all this will depend on the footage you're importing uh, to check what the footage is you could actually go to it click on properties and details and then you can see a bit more about it so 30 frames 2560 by 1440 is what we would want to set this to. So we'll drag our clip in from the media pool into the timeline. You can see you can drag it and move it around. We've got the uh, cursor here which we can move up and down to preview the video. We've got the two previews up here. This is the timeline and this is from the media pool. Some of the basic things we might want to do is cut video. To do that, you just want to go to the blade edit mode and then you can click to cut. As you can see, it's cutting both the video and audio. It will do that as long as they are linked. To remove just or some of the video or audio, 
we would need to uh, unlink them so if we right click on them we can click the link clips here it should have a tick next to it at the moment now it doesn't and that means we can select them individually now to delete on this you can use the delete key but that will delete most uh, or everything's and it will um, bunch the clips up so you're going to prefer to use the backspace key to delete so backspace rather than delete is probably what you're going to be using we can trim and cut uh, pieces of our video by using the blade edit so if we bring the audio back and link it we will yeah, it's already linked so if we use the blade edit in two spots there if I click delete it will bring the previous video up to it which we might not want to do that's by hitting the delete key so if we hit backspace it will delete it as it is now you can see on the inspector now that we've got some video clips in we've just got this piece selected at the moment we can edit it in a certain way this will do the whole video uh, for as long as it's selected so we can change the zoom and if we move it to the point there you go we're on it now we can change the zoom so if we zoom it in and then go back to preview the change you can see it will zoom it in for just that clip you can change position as well so if you're wanting to focus on a certain point you can do that angle of rotation pitch your and everything else so obviously we've completely murdered that clip but it doesn't matter we'll just get back to how it was and you can see that we've got stabilization dynamic zoom and all automatic effects uh, lens correction uh, it probably won't need to do anything with it being uh, screen recorded so you can ignore that for now the audio tab you can change the volume uh, you can do it this way or the other way which is slightly quicker if you're not uh, on the inspector it's to drag the line here so if we drag it down you'll see it will change the amount of decibels that it's adding or minusing to change the volume level if you don't see waveforms like I do you want to go to this little icon here the timeline view options and you can select this here which if you toggle it will add or remove the waveforms I think you've got the uh, got dual, dual channel there and you can change the height of the video uh, with things like this so this is just changing the view of the timeline if we go to our effects library you can see up here we can toggle it on and off like we mentioned earlier we've got some of the basic effects we've got video transitions here which is uh, going to be a popular one cross dissolve um, will just uh, show you what that's like so if we drag it you can see we can add it to the clip here you want to probably add it so that it's um, between both clips and then if we preview it you'll see it will cross dissolve into that zoomed edit that we made there there are a few different video transitions so if we were to get rid of that one hit backspace we can choose something like triangle left and we'll see how that looks like that a diagonal swipe and there's a load so you can play around with all of these see which you prefer audio transitions as well we've got cross fades here which you just want to drag in but this time obviously to the audio channel you can add text and titles to your videos so you've got some default templates here to choose or we can add simple uh, just text if we to drag it in you can see it will add it there title if we move that down and actually able to preview it we can change its location like that if we click inspector we can change some of its features so we can make it red and we've got tracking and basically as much customization as you would need drop shadows and things like that we've got more advanced uh, and templates to add text uh, so we can scroll down below the titles and we've got fusion titles so we've got some 3d templates uh, if we were to choose title center reveal that should be quite a simple one but you'll get the idea you can see it there behind that text if we go to the video and then change the position by uh, holding down left click moving we can move it up and down I think I've just moved it well off screen there we go so you'll see if we move it there uh, and change the color just to something a bit more visible uh, and then I'll show you how that looks
you get the idea it's a little bit laggy as it's uh, loading in but it will eventually load like that so there's plenty to choose from and you should have uh, enough for what you're wanting to do we've obviously got multiple video layers so we can add in images or video over the top so if we were to add in a video for example to the timeline you'll see the audio is currently um, going to be uh, overlapped so we can add a, another audio track so if we add a stereo track there we've got audio 2 uh, and then if we try that again this time as you can see it goes to the other audio track so bear that in mind if you're wanting to do multiple video layers images obviously won't have an audio track so it's unlikely in a piece of video we would have two tracks like this two full tracks that we've got at the moment to show you how it works and just to give you an idea we'll just shrink the zoom on this one and you can see how it works and it will play over the top uh, as you'd expect we can add in audio so if we created another track like we did earlier we can drag in the other piece of audio and you can see it adds the track there we can drag this to wherever we like and you will need to check the audio levels when you've got two tracks running so that's something to bear in mind as well once you're happy with your project and you are ready to export it you'll need to go to the deliver page you can preview your project in this page but we're going to be focusing on the settings to the left here I'm going to select mp4 as that's what I'm exporting in and the codec is fine we've got the resolution which if you chose in the project settings it might be selected as custom unless you choose one of the defaults uh, I'm happy with that because that's what I chose we'll choose best quality as well for the bitrate and it's up to you completely in this section you might want to do some research as to what's best for you um, but bear in mind the higher quality the higher resolution the higher the file size will be you can choose the name and the location up here if you're happy with that and you're happy with all the settings here you can click add to render queue that will cause the project to be put up here as job one this is the render queue that you've got on here so if you've got multiple things here you might want to check if you've been editing for a while but it's likely as this will be the first one it should be your only one up there once you're happy and you previewed it and everything's good you can click start render and it will render your project to the settings you have chosen here so that's it I mean this was never meant to be a overview a full overview should I say of this piece of software it's just a little intro into some of the things it can do there's so much more to explore and I wish you luck in doing that it's really fun and if you've got any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments and like I mentioned plenty of stuff online if you're wanting to do specific things just search it and I'm sure there'll be an answer thanks so much for watching if you have enjoyed or if the video has helped I'd be grateful if you click subscribe and like it really helps so it just leaves me saying thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.